All right, so welcome to another lesson. Today we are going to learn about how to open multiple terminals using one terminal. So if you're working with shell, you might have noticed that uh, you might have come across a lot of problems, but this one specific problem that you might have confronted is that you might have, you know, uh, tried to open a lot of terminals, especially while working with the SSH server you might have noticed that you have to open a lot of terminals like two three four terminals uh, and not only it slows down the process but it actually is very noisy so you get lost in that you know rush of terminals so today we're going to solve that problem we're going to fix it and i'm going to show you that how you can do it this is linuxin.com and we are presenting you this tutorial uh, so for written articles you can visit our website linuxin.com there are pretty interesting articles on there so the idea is that you have to have a screen uh, we call it a GN gnu screen tool as well so you have to have that in order to work with multiple screens um, on your terminal okay so what would happen is that on your one terminal you would be able to work with multiple screens inside that one window okay i'm going to show you in a while that how we would be able to do it so first of all you've got to have that screen installed on your system so how do you do that you open up your terminal you write a simple command which actually installs the screen for you and then you start working with it okay so you press ctrl alt t and once you have pressed Control alt t now in here you are going to write here like sudo apt install and then you're going to write here um, screen okay hit enter it asks you for the password you enter the password and now you can see that basically it has installed the gnu screen on our ubuntu system okay so we have done it the first step is complete all right so now what we're going to do is that we are going to use this screen. So how do we do that? There are basically, you know, if you want to open up the screen, you, if you want to check if the screen has been installed or not. So for that, what you would do, you would write here screen, you would hit enter and you would reach a screen something like this. So then press space, space and you are over here. So it means that the screen has been successfully installed and it's there, okay? So what if you want to open up a new screen? So let me just write here simply something like there, you know. Um, now, what if I want to open up a new screen? So this is one screen. So in order to open up a new screen, I have to press Control plus A and then I need to press C, okay? So the idea is that you, whatever you are doing with screen, screen shortcuts, it would be in the format of control plus, control plus anything else. Okay. So that's how it is going to be. So I'm going to write down all those small shortcuts to view the screens, to create the screens and uh, other to move up to like the previous screen or move up to the next screen. I'm going to write down all those shortcuts here so i will i will write down uh, in a text file okay so let's write down here uh, the first thing is basically how you can create screen so in order to create screen what you will do you will write here control you'll press control plus a and then you press c okay so what it would do it would create a new screen for you okay so right now we are here so if we press ctrl a and then we press c you can see that it has basically created a new screen for us right so we have done it the first step we have done is that we have created a new screen after the installation of a screen so now what we are going to do uh, is that we are actually going to view that which are the screens which have been opened okay which are available so how do we do that we press ctrl a and then we press double quotes okay shift and double quotes so i'm gonna show you here 
In order to view screens, what you've got to do, you have to write here control plus um, A, and then you've got to have double quotes, okay? So you have to press double quotes, okay? So let me write here then as well so that you don't get confused. So now, uh, if I want to view those screens, I'll press Control A and then I'll press Shift double quotes. So these are the screens that are available. Two screens, zero bash, one bash. Okay. So these are the two screens available. So I'll hit Enter and I'll go back. So now, what I can do that basically I can switch from one screen to another screen as well. So basically, um, if you press Control A plus Control P, we'll move to the previous screen. And if you press Control A plus Control N, you'll move to the next screen. Okay, I hope you got the point. So I'm going to write down here, okay, move uh, next. So for, for moving to the next screen, the command, uh, the shortcut is Control plus A and Control plus N. Okay, so first of all, you have to press Control A, then you'll press Control N, and then you'll reach to the next screen. So in order to move back to the previous screen, what you will do is that you'd write here, uh, move previous. So you'd press Control plus A, and then you'd press Control plus P. Okay, so that's how you move to the previous screen. So let, let's go ahead and let's try to do it. So I press Control A and I press Control P, and you can see I have moved to the previous screen. Um, if I again press Control P, I have moved another previous screen. If I again press Control P, I have moved another previous screen. Okay, so I hope you've got the point. So now if I press Control A and I press Control N, you can see that. Uh, it has moved me all the way to the next screen okay so i hope you have got the point right so the next thing that i want to show you is that basically having uh, these screen it, it's it's like really really powerful so what we can do is that let let me try to install uh, some program so i install your app install let's say H top okay it gives an error because I haven't done sudo so I'll write here sudo app install H top okay I hit enter it asks me for the password and you can see it has installed it it is a marvelous system so if I write here H top and hit enter you can see that these are all the details of the processes which are already running so if you see here we have our process a stop running here and it has the process ID of 7432 right so the best thing about screen is that you can actually save this task okay this a stop process whatever it is it is running right now you can actually save it you close the terminal you you know you know in in the normal case you lost your progress, right? If you do that, you will lose your progress, definitely. But in this case, that's not going to happen because you have saved it. Be because of the screen, it is going to be there. So when you come back to your terminal again, it will give you an option to attach or detach from the screen. So all the screens will already be detached. So what your goal will be is to attach to that one specific screen that you have saved intentionally. So in our case, we are going to save this process right here. This screen, we are going to save it. So how do we do that? We press Control A and then we press Control D. Okay, so now we have basically detached from the server, but it's there. It is going to be saved. Okay. So now, uh, as a next step, what we are going to do that uh, let's just close it and let's come back. So I'm going to write here five that save execution. So how do you do that? You do that by control 
plus A and control plus D. All right. So I hope you've got the point. So now I open up my terminal. I press control alt T. All right. So now I have opened up the terminal. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to see uh, that which are the screens which are available. So uh, in order to view all those screens, what you've got to do, you have to press, you know, uh, in the terminal, you have to write here screen negative ls. All right. So it's the same like we used to do with the files. Okay. Uh, so we hit enter and you can see that we have, you know, one, two, three, four, five screens here. Okay, right now. And only one screen is attached. And, uh, you know, it is the process ID or the screen ID is 6876, which is attached. So let's say that if we want to attach uh, the screen, which was uh, with the HTOP, server so i forgot the id but uh, let's try any of that so let's try this one here so if we write here um if we're gonna write here screen and then we're gonna write here negative r which stands for resume so we're gonna resume it and we're gonna attach it so we'll write here 6807 and let's see what happens we hit enter and that screen i guess it was empty so we would write here again screen negative ls so let's now let's try this 6876 okay so we would write here screen negative r and then 6876 we hit enter and you can see that it says there is a screen on okay we are already attached okay there is no screen to be resumed matching 6876 okay so now 7486 let's try that one screen negative r 7486 we hit enter and yes this was the screen that we had saved previously and you can see that the execution is there it has not been deleted it has not gone anywhere it is saved right there and we have done it intentionally using screen okay so I hope you've got the point. I hope you have learned something new. For written articles, keep visiting our website, linuxin.com. And until next time, I'll see you.